Hey everyone, just a reminder that until Tuesday, my G Fuel discount code IMMORTAL will actually get you 30% off your entire order. So whether you're looking to try G Fuel for the first time or restock on anything you may need, now is the best time to do so. But now, on to today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Over the course of what, like the past two months or so, we've been slowly learning about the backstory of Warzone, but occasionally, the backstory of Warzone also teases the future and what's to come there. In this past week, we ended up getting the Sins of the Father intel missions, and this is probably the most difficult set of challenges that we've had so far. However, it also provides us with some pretty interesting teases for what should be the next major map update for Warzone, and of course, it also gives us some pretty big information on the backstory and the connection between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone storylines. So, as we go through everything today, if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, this is the place to be to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, so feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. So, getting into this week's intel, it is known as the Sins of the Father, as I said, and the description here says, Zakaev wants to finish what his father began. And this obviously is referring to Victor Zakaev wanting to finish what Imran Zakaev started. And as we'll see throughout this set of challenges, Imran Zakaev actually has a pretty big connection to Black Ops Cold War. Anyways, as always, the first mission this week is to find the location in the message that Ghost sent you, and when you view this intel, you can see the Ghost Coin sitting on top of one of the spires at the prison. So this step is by far the easiest one for this week. Simply head on over to the prison and the spire you want to go for is the front left one if you're going to the prison from like the entrance of it. Then right up on top on the actual hatch that's up there, the ghost coin is just waiting to be collected. And once you do that, you're good to go on to step number two. So step two says, a CCTV near metro exits may have spotted something. And when we view this intel, this time we see a note that reads, the map from Arm 31, Arm 31 is uh, of course woods we can assume, is outdated. Soviet era, aka Cold War, but Z could be using the old routes to move unseen. Check cameras in slash around the metros that still exist. See if they picked up anything. So, this note implies that Zakaev could be using the metro system to actually move around the map, and as we get later on into the video, you'll see why that's important to note. But as far as this step goes, you're gonna need to land over by the apartments by the airport, as there's actually a metro station entrance here, and on the apartment just behind the entrance to the metro, there's a camera above the door, and that's where you can find this piece of intel. Now, getting into step number three, this time it says a shipment was moved from the metro, and when we view this intel, we can see an image that was taken from the camera where we just were outside the metro station, but something about this image isn't right. That truck there on the left is not actually on the map right now, and on that truck specifically, there's actually an Atlas logo indicating that something may have been moved to Atlas Superstore, or just Superstore as it's known in Warzone. And so, if you head on over to the Superstore, just inside past the back window, there's a little jump up that looks over the center area of the map, and in the corner, there's actually a teddy bear there, and that's where Intel number three is located. So grab that, and you're on to step number four. Now, this one says, the intel was tracked to the stadium, and when you view this intel, you see a message from Rose that reads, Signal intelligence picked up chatter near the stadium. It's Z. He's using Atlas trucks to move material. Latest shipment was tracked to the southeast loading area. Shadow is being brought in. Joint operation. We have to find him, no matter the cost. So, this clue actually gave us some pretty useful hints. Uh, obviously, we need to go to the southeast parking lot of the stadium, and once you're there, you can actually see an Atlas truck. It has the logo on the side of it, just like in the CCTV footage, and the back of that truck is opened up, and inside, you can find the fourth piece of intel. Now, getting into step five, this is probably the most difficult step that we've ever had for any of these intel missions, because this actually requires you to complete the full-on stadium easter egg. So, the objective says, Hardware was delivered to Suite 320, entry requires an access code. And when you view this intel, you see a shipping manifest that describes the ChemBio location and states that the hardware is in fact in Suite 320. Now, in order to get into Suite 320, as mentioned, you do have to do the full-on Stadium Easter Egg. And uh, if you're not sure how exactly to do that, I do have a guide up on the channel and I will link that down in the description below. But basically, you need to get all the key cards to get into the offices to actually get the access code to enter the main suite. 
And once you've done that and you've entered the suite, you're going to see a bunch of boards all around the room. And actually, there are three pieces of intel you need to collect here. You got to make sure you do grab all three of them. Otherwise, you won't complete this step. But once you do that, you're good to move on. Then step six says there was a broadcast from the parking structure. And when you view this intel, it's basically just information overload, right? And this is where we get some really, really cool information on the backstory of Cold War and Warzone. But we're going to break all that down in detail once we've completed all of this week's challenges. But obviously, the main thing you want to look at here is that sticky note, which reads garage P2 office start broadcast. So this one needs you to head back to the stadium once more. And for this, you do actually need to find the access card for the parking garage office. Now, I found that usually spawns up on the executive level, so I'd start searching there first. Then after you get the access card, head on down to the parking garage, open up the office, and the intel can be found on the computer just sitting right inside of there. This all then leads up to step seven, where the intel is completed for this week, and we get the final objective of Z hijacked the UAV signal to ignite a conflict. And the intel here shows sort of a signal transmission that basically says that a new sequence has been executed. Honestly, we don't really get as much information from this final image as we have in the weeks before, but that's okay because we got a ton of intel from step six. And going back to that now, on this image, we can actually see the map of Verdansk that was shown in the shack by the TV station. We see plans for a missile of some sort. We see plans to interfere with the UAV signal. And then we also get a letter, which is kind of hard to read, but here is what it says. Victor, know that in you, I see the future of our name and of Russia herself. The burdens you will bear in life are too great to measure. Find strength in them, but know your limits and which lines you are ready to cross. In my days, violence was specific. We used stateless entities, some even branded as terrorists, to influence policy. Then I met Perseus and found my own line. It is because of this I give you caution. Stay wise to your allies, as well as your enemies. For if united, they will forget their hatred towards each other and find it in you. Old wounds take generations to heal. Do not let them. The West can fall without firing a shot. Yet, their politicians, our so-called leaders, have made Russia a slave to the West. Our culture, our economy, and our homes are its victims. Never forget what you fight for, my son. Signed, Imran Zakayev. So, out of this, we learn that Imran Zakayev's connection to Perseus basically sparked a new form of attack on his enemies, which in this case is just the General West. And that means it's quite possible that Imran Zakayev actually could play a part in the Black Ops Cold War storyline later on this year. But also, going back to the earlier intel missions regarding the metro station, if we didn't have the leaks that we have now, then those probably wouldn't mean all that much. However, with the information we know is out there courtesy of the CDL Champs teaser and then also some of the files that actually leaked, we know that new metro stations and an actual metro system is going to be coming to Verdansk at some point in the future. And now it seems this intel is actually tying the metro system to Zakayev's plan to ultimately launch a nuke on Verdansk. So perhaps he's going to attempt to transport the nuke underground once it's ready. Uh, maybe he's going to actually try to blow it up underneath like a major landmark or something like that. Uh, the specifics there are still up in the air, but this does essentially confirm that in the future, the subway stations are going to open up and that should give us some more information on when the nuke event is going to be going down and what all we can expect with that. So even though it is somewhat hidden, this week's intel definitely includes some teasers as to what's in store for Verdansk in the future. Now, we do know that Cold War's version of Warzone is going to pick up where this year ends off, and part of me wonders if this year is going to end up with Zakayev finally detonating the nuke. Then we sort of see a plan that was set in motion back in the Soviet era, thanks to the interactions between Imran and Perseus, sort of come to fruition, and then we see a map change headed into Cold War as a direct result of the nuke. Uh, of course, only time is going to tell, but man, I am so excited to see how exactly this is all going to pan out. So yeah, there you have it. That is effectively how to complete the Sins of the Father intel and what it means for the overall storyline. And that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you just found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with all the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, tips, all sorts of stuff like that, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As I mentioned in the intro, through Monday, my G Fuel discount code IMMORTAL will actually get you 30% off your entire order. So if you want to grab anything from the G Fuel site, now is definitely the best time to do so. 
But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.